dear student today we will discuss concept of merge table statement merge table statement is the part of dml statement as in db dml statement we are having the different five different statement select insert update delete and merge you people already know about the concept of the select that is used for the retrieving of the data update that is used to update the record modify the record delete to remove the record from the table and last one we are having the merge statement merge statement is also a dml statement that is used to merge two table let we are having the two different tables are there one table is imply one and second one is imply two that here we see that we are having two table are there imply one that containing imply id name and salary column second table is here imply to imply name and salary id name and salary both of these table are having the same column same data but may have the different data set values records are different like we are having in this table the different records those records are those records are in imply one table let me say that values are here 1 2 3 and 4 id value is 1 name is same and salary is given imply to id name and salary then for the imply id 3 then name and then salary imply id 4 name and salary let me execute uh, the table creations executed both of these command are executed successfully uh, first i have to insert the record you people already know how to insert the record so that is very easy i am just clicking it over here and inserting the four record in imply one table and second similarly we have to insert the record in to imply tab two table so here record are inserted into imply two table if we check it over here select steric from m1 and second one is select steric from m2 let me execute both of these at the same time so here these two double data is there first one is imply 1 second one is imply 2 in imply 2 we are having id is here 1 2 3 4 name is here jimmy and then salary is this one here imply id 4 name is here rafi and salary is this one what we have imply id 4 is repeating in both of these table right what the merge statement can do merge statement have to check two different thing let me see that we have to merge imply 1 into imply 2 right so whenever we want to merge the table imply 1 using imply 2 then for that one we have to use the merge statement for the merge statement we have to perform the two different operation if the value of the imply id are matched imply 1 dot imply id this one value is matched with imply 2 dot imply id then update the value of imply name as well as imply salary if value are matched then update merge statement will do first one operation that if the value of imply id is matched in both of these table then update the value of imply name as well as imply salary mean this one name will be moved to here imply id 4 name will be here rafi and this one salary will be used over here in this yeah, over here if the value are not matched when not matched then when matched then we should update the record remember that whenever we have to update the record never update the value of id all the other columns that are not used for the qualifier that are not used for the performing the matching of the value right so if id value is matched then update right and so we have to simply use it over update set what else we have if when not matched then insert the record let here imply id 5 and 6 both of these are not matched then insert both of these record into table imply 1 
let's see how we can do the matching of the record for that one we have to use the merge statement merge emp 1 merge into imply 1 using imply 2 we can use the alias for of this one imply 1 e1 we can use alias e2 right or no need of that one if it depends on you on how we have to perform the merging of the data based on one common column we said that where we are having the imply 1 dot imply id is equal to imply 2 dot imply id it will check this these value that these values are equal or not right matching will be performed merging will be performed based on the imply id column in both of these table we said it win matched then when the value are matched then update set what are those values that must be updated we see that if the values are matched then update the value of imply name from which one table imply 1 emp1 dot e name is equal to this one value must be updated from the table value imply 2 and the value column is here e name emp2 dot e name when matched then update set e name m1 dot e name is equal to m2 dot e name similarly we have to update the value of salary comma m1 dot salary is equal to m2 dot salary the value of the salary of imply one table that must be updated by the imply 2 whenever when matched when the value of imply 1 dot imply uh, imply 1 dot imply id is equal to imply 2 dot imply id when value are matched then update when not match then if value are not matched now oh, column name is here wrong that's why it is displaying there when not match then what we have to do when match then update when not match then insert and list of the column what are those column imply id where we have to insert imply one dot imply id or simply imply id e name then we have a salary and values what are the values should be inserted over here value from the imply 2 emp2 dot imp id Okay, a column name is still wrong. S C L A. Imply to dot imp id. Imply to dot e name and imply to dot salary. Right? When match, then insert. When the value are match then perform the insertion operation when when you are not matched then what we have to do we have to perform just insert right that is related to the merge statement that merge into imply 1 using imply 2 when matched then update set imply 1 dot e name is equal to imply 2 dot e name the value of e name from the imply 1 that must be updated right with the e name that is available in the imply 2 table same for the salary and when the value are not matched then we have to insert the record and record must be inserted from imply 2 table into imply 1 table let's check what is the table over here execute it it said that 3 row affected now let me check what are the different records select static from emp1 now m1 value should be that must be updated both of these these table are merged now just check it out imply id 1 2 3 
all of these three records from the imply one table but this one record imply four value was matched in both the table then what it do what it have to do it update the value of imply one ename value with the name of the imply two ename value same for the salary right and record five and six that were available in the table imply one i'm sorry imply two so those are inserted in imply one table so in this way we may be able to perform the merging of the data so whenever we have a data in the two different table and we want to merge all of both both of those table are having the same structure then in such cases we can merge both of these table any anyway, if the structure is not same like number of the columns are not same number of columns are the different then it is not possible to perform merging of the data thanks for watching the video